Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I look absolutely crazy today because we are going to try to do a one take try on video. <laughs> so what we are diving into is our boxy charm. This is for February. I got it a little bit earlier than I usually do which was super shocking. But we are going to hop into it and try out some products and I promise I'm going to try to remember to give you all the prices this time because I always forget. <laughs> But here's our price sheet. Galaxy Glow is our theme. I got variation one. There wasn't a weight on it. Sorry guys, but I think that's a myth anyways. And then we got a code for 20% off cover FX and it is FX Charm. If that'll focus. That is a code. I guess feel free to use it. <laughs> but the first thing we are going to do is just hop right on in here and look at these products. So the first thing I'm going to show y'all, because I'm going to do my face in order after what I've already put on, is this three-piece brush set from Crown Brushes, and this retails for $29.99. <clears throat> and it is a basically, let's see, the smallest one is to conceal imperfections and highlight under the eyes, which means I'm going to use it for my lower lash line. This is to sculpt the cheekbones so this is a small contour brush and this is basically a powder brush so in honor of boxy i'm going to use boxy products i have the studio makeup setting powder that we got a few months back and i'm just going to pour a little bit of that out and set what i've already done to my face to see how this feels it is very dense but it is also very soft and they're also so stinking cute I love that they did these white and pink brushes for Valentine's Day but we're just gonna set where our concealer is and a little bit all over I did use a drugstore foundation today and no hate on drugstore foundations but I feel like when you use a drugstore foundation you kind of have to be sure you set it because my face tends to crease a lot worse with drugstore foundations than high-end ones could just be me but when I use this wet and wild I have to be sure I set everything in so there is our first brush and I have already contoured so I'm not going to use that brush for that but I am going to try it for something else so our second product we got in here, don't get too excited, I'm already using it, is this Ofra palette. I've already put some extra shadows in it. This is just a Z palette. And what we actually got with it was a blush, and I got this one. These are just some Anastasia uh, pans that I put in here because I've been needing a Z palette like crazy so this was actually right on time and I thought about using this for my blush but I feel like that's a bad idea but basically this is if you want that real deep contour you can just do that with that product but we're gonna try out this little blush they gave me I feel like it's a little dark for me but we shall see and it's actually pretty buildable so that's not too too bad but it is a little bit dark for my fair skin. So I don't know how much I'll be using that, but it seems to be pretty well pigmented. It looks all right, a little dark though. But that is this and this Z palette retails for 19 and this little blush retails for 12. So this is $31. So we've already got over $60 in the box, guys. Tripled your money. But on to the next one. <laughs> um, we also got this uh, vintage smoky eye pencil in jet black, which is wonderful because who doesn't love a good black eyeliner? So, as I always put my pencil liners to the test, we're going to see if this works in the waterline. And it is also time to zoom in because we are no longer on our face makeup. <laughs> okay, guys. So, we are just going to test this. And I have a cat here. This is real life, you guys. We're going to test this in the waterline and see how it does. And 
that is not too shabby. It's definitely there. This is like the hardest thing in the world for me because I hate like grabbing at my face like this and I guarantee you I will have messed up my foundation when I'm done. Yep. Just a little spot though. We fix it. <laughs> but this is definitely very good. Worked well. This retails for $21 so I hope it works well if y'all understand what I'm saying there. But we are moving along. I want to get this done for y'all really quick so y'all can just see what's in my variation. You've already seen it on Instagram because I got one of the basic variations. I really wanted a cool one this time you guys. So bad. But <clears throat> next is the Cover FX Shimmer Veil. This retails for $28 and it comes in the color, I think Amethyst for everybody, which is just this nice like purple, not hollow. It's really reflective. But this to me is kind of similar to the Stila Glow ones and I actually swatched it on my hand a couple hours ago. So I could show y'all it doesn't really move or flake or anything if you let it dry all the way. So we're just going to go ahead and apply that to the eye. I put a little bit of something in the crease and in the outer corner just for this look. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say it. This retails for $28. There is no way in the world if I knew this performed this way, I would buy it. Because I was hoping for a beautiful eye thing, kind of like my Stila. And this just didn't it. I mean, it's pretty. But, uh, not $28 pretty. But, I mean, it's a nice product. Definitely good to get in the box so that now I can try it out. <clears throat> And I know not to spend my money on any other colors because I don't I don't like that. No hate to cover FX. They have incredible products. But that just ain't one of them. Sorry. So last in the box, so we can finish the last of these products, we get the Pure Expo Lips Plump Lip Exfoliator. I used this earlier today. It exfoliates and it feels really nice. But it didn't plump at all. I don't know. I'll put it on and keep it on while I finish my eyes and y'all can judge. It is very, very rough on my lips like it almost hurts. <clears throat> With just an exfoliator, I know it's going to be rough, but it's like really rough. But I digress. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stick some shadow up under my eye, just that light color, and I'm going to use this little brush for it. I'm just going to use a light Anastasia shadow. Nothing big, just to put something down here. And yeah, this brush is good for your lower lash line. Definitely like the brushes. Okay, um... Hmm. Well, I'm going to do my lips and my liner real quick. That lip plumper tastes great, by the way. And then I'll be back to tell y'all my hits and misses for the box, I guess. <laughs> okay, guys. So I am back with my final thoughts. We're going to go through this one by one. Okay. So we have our three brushes. I love these two. I'm going to have to test this one out. I usually don't like these for contour. I've really found a good use for these, except sometimes they're really good for highlight, actually. So we shall see. But these are good. We've got this palette here, which I needed a Z palette because I had these Anastasias laying around. I have some from Juvie's Palace coming in. Uh, the blush is a little dark for me, but... We're going to give it a shot. We're going to try it a couple more times. See how we feel. But this is a very... 
this is not a product to get excited about this is a product that you just you need it like I would have rather got the highlight palette that came this month but I needed this so they saved me some money like 20 bucks that I would have spent on a Z palette probably that's always good you know something you need to have the lip exfoliator I'm not quite sure how I feel about you yet but it tastes good and it makes my lips soft I just don't like that it claims to plump when I don't feel like it plumps like I feel like my lips are the same size still I don't know maybe they're not they feel the same size then we have got our liner this is a good liner I'm not gonna hate on it don't know that I'd pay $21 for it in real life but it's a good liner went down on my waterline that's always test number one definitely like this however I'm not a huge fan it's really pretty I'm gonna play with it more maybe if like I dabbed it on top of a dark shadow it would add just like a really nice kind of hollowish effect to it that might be a good way to use this but I'm not a fan but I'll try it and maybe use it in a tutorial soon and I'll let y'all know how I feel about this when it's all said and done but <laughs> that is it for my unboxing I'm hoping when I edit this down it's short because I didn't mean for this to be so long I'm sorry guys y'all know I ramble way more than I should but that is my boxy charm I added it up earlier today and I think it was worth like a hundred and 27 maybe so definitely over the $120 mark on retail value which is always good I mean you know we love that but not what I wanted but next month will be better because everybody gets what I want because if you haven't seen any spoilers for March you should see the new palette the boxycharm and pure cosmetics made Together. and I'm so excited because it is so pretty and I cannot wait to play in that next month but for announcements today if you're not yet in my giveaway go what are you waiting for the link is right down there all you gotta do is click it click a few buttons do a couple things you're in and you can win all kinds of makeup I'm even adding more stuff to it like I got some doubles of things again so y'all can have all those <laughs> But, and also, Crate Finds Mailer 5 went up for pre-order as I'm filming this. So, when you see this, it's been up for pre-order around 12 hours. We're going to see if it's sold out yet, but it is incredible. You get the best thing ever, but I will let you go to the Crate Finds page so that you can see what you get, because it is, again, a free subscription if you get the basic mailer. So, you pay $6.95 for shipping. That's it, no other charges, and this month is amazing, and I cannot wait for y'all to get your hands on it and play in it and love it because it's awesome. And the deluxe is a little less than $30, I believe it's $26.99, and you're going to get like eyeshadows and lippies and glitter and all kinds of incredible things, all Crate Finds brand, all vegan, cruelty free, oh what's that other word, organic, all organic, um, but that is up for pre-order they will take a while to ship because you know when things are on pre-order like sometimes shipping takes a bit but you want to pre-order it because last month it sold out in two days and everybody got in the stuff that they ordered in those two days and they loved it so I'm gonna bet that all those people are gonna be back again to get another one and this one's probably gonna sell out quicker but they did add about 1500 more free mailers this month since the first 5,000 went so quick so yeah those are available mailers one through three are still available I actually have a lip topper from mailer three on my lips right now that's what this shiny gorgeousness is it's just a little bit of lip liner with one of the Crate Finds lip toppers right up over it so yeah get on that I just rambled for an extra three minutes so it's time to actually end this video now I hope y'all enjoyed let me know down below what you got in your boxy charm and let me know if you want me to just start showing the products instead of showing how to use them it's up to y'all I want to do what makes you guys happy so y'all let me know 
and I will see you tomorrow for another dupe. That's what you get tomorrow. So I will see y'all tomorrow in my dupe video. And uh, bye you guys.